This is Abraham Salton from Jerusalem, and today we'll be learning about bones. Um, before any class, um, before class starts, we'll a small introduction about bones. Uh, bones is a new feature, despite the fact that other programs they carried bones before. This is new for Flash. So if you are going to follow this tutorial, I suggest you check the version you have. Um, to make sure that it's compatible. Um, uh, another thing is that we will be um, the email shows at the end of this um, tutorial. So if you have any suggestions, if you have any questions, if you have any remarks, you more than welcome to write me in January. Reply in 24 hours. Thanks for watching. Now we are starting with an empty document. As you can see, an empty scene and um, let's grab the rectangle tool make sure on properties that there is no stroke and the fill is set for a color other than white let's put this back and let's stretch our rectangle here fine that's our rectangle and we're making an arm out of this rectangle a long arm um, using the zoom tool let's focus on this edge over here now as I said before if I didn't say anything now um, it comes every rectangle comes with four different um, vector points when the cursor changes into that square over there let's stretch squeeze drag and drop again squeeze and last but not least using the control key let's stretch and add a additional point vector point at the edge of our arm now that we are done we can ask for view magnification 100 percent and we have our arm in our stage see this is our arm it's long now I want you guys to see something before start anything um, note that we have a single layer on our timeline it's the only layer that we have so far so good now let's close the timeline over here and let's click on the bone tool let's start adding bones by stretching releasing stretching releasing that already two bones stretching and releasing stretch release stretch release and one last bone stretch and release now we have five bones uh, look at our timeline we have a surprise a new layer was added automatically to our timeline now to test the bone let's ask the black arrow also called the selection tool let's grab it from the edge and moving the structure the body follows again let's move the structure the body follows these um, Few frames are also called poses, and let's create an animation out of this. Uh, let's go to a timeline, and on let's say 15, right click, insert pose. There's now a green body over our timeline, and the frame 15 is just the same as frame 1. Now, if we change the content of the frame 15, also called the pose, also called the keyframe, by moving our bone structure, the body will follow. And you see on control, test movie, that flash interpolates, it calculates the difference in between one keyframe and the other. That's result. Uh, this is a very basic tutorial, very simple, very clear on how to deal with frames, um, bones. Uh, my email shows at the end of this tutorial again. 
if you have questions if you have remarks if you have suggestions don't hesitate in contacting me thanks for watching